Say what you want, but the MJ thing always gets us going in the morning. Does it not? It does. Every time that we play an it's MJ true. song, everybody's always energized and ready to go. Mm -hmm. I think we need to do the Ellen DeGeneres thing. Sorry, boss. I know she doesn't have her show on our station, but I think oh, we should do so the whole dancing thing. Yeah, that's not. Yeah, I happen. think that's a great idea. I, I think that the senior member of the team <laughs> yeah. should be seated and you dance to me. That would make a lot more sense. Because you're old? Because mm -hmm. Carol's been here the longest. Yeah, but I'm senior to Carol. Yeah, okay. well, there. Or we That's do true. what He's Lady really Gaga old. did at the Grammys, and we all bring Kent in a big egg <laughs> every morning. There on our shoulders. Now, or see, now you're Howard thinking. Or there's the Howard Stern fly-in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, with my butt hanging out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, Everybody welcome to Great Friday. Day. Yeah, yeah. It's TGIF, and we hope your Friday is off to a wonderful start. This is Great Day St. Louis. Yep, and today on the show, oldies but goodies. We are finding out about four beauty products that first hit the market decades ago, but remain top sellers today. Now, you may have heard of the little black book, but what about the little mini pink book? It's a new website you'll want to turn to for all that's stylish in St. Louis, and we're going to meet the woman behind it. That is coming up. And then it's time to book your next vacation. Yes. Still time. Kent's there already. Still trying to book my last one. <laughs> we'll talk live with the folks at Travel Zoo because oh, they really hooked that. us up. They searched high and low for the best travel deals, specifically for St. Louis, leaving from St. Louis. We're talking Vegas, Hawaii, Cancun, a really great deal up in Chicago. You could drive to if you wanted. Mm. Just wait until you see these deals coming up. Those pictures are not from Chicago. <laughs> Plus, <laughs> what was your first clue? Yeah. We're going to get Cajun in the kitchen, the chef from Three Kings Public House. It's here to show us how to spice up some sliders. That's going to be good. And look who's hanging out in front of the big magical arch. It's DJ Brian from the Millennium Productions. There he is, buddy. What's going on? What up, B? So what brought on the MJ this morning? You just that's just what you're feeling? You know, I actually I, I turned I got in my car, turned on my iPod, and that was the first song that came on. This was the first fate. song I heard today, and I was, you know what? This is just this is gonna spice up it my Friday. Fate. This it is was, what I want right now. It was a shuffle fate. <laughs> <laughs> it was. It really was. And and you know what? I love MJ. Obviously, I play him almost every Friday. But this is just one of those that just it's going to pump you up no matter what. It is. So That's, what, you know, what why a better way to start it? You know, I'm glad you this. said that. You know why? Why is that? You know what happened to me last night? I I always push. I, well, the parts I can tell you about. <laughs> yeah, right. I always hit the sleep button on my iPod before I go to bed. My uh -huh. iPhone, which has the iPod in it, and MJ came up, and I thought I'd never get to sleep because I was so fired up. There I was bed dancing last night. <laughs> wow. <laughs> We're really not supposed to Which is to probably talk more than you that. wanted to know. That's a little TMI. Why don't we go send it over oh, to the yeah. It's probably it's, in it's everybody's best interest. A little, little early for that. Talk to me about that at the end of the show. <laughs> okay, good. Okay, Virginia. now. Well, let's talk beauty. Because we are always hearing about the new beauty products on the market. But today, we have a little something different for you. We want to focus on the products that have stood the test of time. Older products that are still hot sellers today. And to do that, we brought in beauty expert Leanne Farbs to show us some of her very favorites. Hi, Hi thanks there. for having me. Thank you for coming in. Yeah, um, these products are all um, number one sellers. They've been around for some of them for decades, some of them as far back as the 1900s. Um, wow, and, and if they're number one sellers and they've been around that long, they've yeah. got to be working. Absolutely, and a lot of these, some of these you may use, some of these um, you may uh, have had your mother's use and maybe you know grandmothers have told beauty stories passed them down so they're all like really great products. Well I wish my mom would have told me about this first product. Yes this first <laughs> product. I've never heard of it but it sounds amazing. Yeah it's, it is. It's a dry beauty oil. It's Carita Beauté de Fluid Paris and it's um, uh, from Paris. Two sisters have um, a, a shop in Paris. It was a beauty school and they developed it years ago. People use it on their face, in their hair, on their skin. Um, you and can it's put it for in your moisturizing, bath. Moisturizing, right? Right. Is it like an oil spray? It is. It's a dry oil spray. I would only recommend it for if you have dry skin or very dry skin. So definitely not for oily skin. But it's um, fantastic at just moisturizing. If you're dehydrated, like uh, if you get off the plane, you know how you feel. Your skin feels a little parched when you mm -hmm. get off the plane. You can use it for that. What does it do for your hair? Uh, for your hair, it's a good moisturizer. If you get dry scalp. You can use it after the sun for okay. de for de it's fantastic. It for is a de little pricey. It is. It's uh, sixty-eight dollars, I believe. Okay. Um, but it, but it's uh, but it's a multi-use product, so that's, uh, that's so good. you're getting like a couple of a couple of items in one. Now let's talk about this this um, 
nail polish. Yeah, trying to say. Revlon. Yes. Because we're always getting manicures and they seem to, or just doing our own nails, and they mm -hmm. seem to chip off in like two days. Right. Yeah. This actually, uh, Revlon, uh, the nail polish has uh, been around since the early 1900s. Uh, it was their first flagship product. They, uh, it was the first nail polish that was developed with pigments instead of like stains, so that uh, the polish lasted longer, the color lasted longer, and stayed truer. So um, this offers up to 10 days. I can't say it's 10 days for everyone. For everyone, but up to 10 days of chip free wear. There's, uh, they've developed so many different shades. It goes from like mint green all the way to black now. Your next favorite is the Maybelline Great Lash Mascara. I know yes. Jessica Simpson swears by this. Yes. My mom uses this. Yeah, a lot. It is of, so popular. Yep, my mom used it too. And a lot of people have used it. They call it the pink and green. It's the old standby. Um, it's a fantastic ma mascara for just like your regular lengthening, thickening. Um, and uh, it was developed by um, a chemist whose sister, her name was Maybell, and she used Vaseline and coal dust coal on her dust. eyelashes. Yep. Wow. I know. That's where mascara came from. The useless trivia, but that's how but that's where Maybelline came from. That's where the name Maybelline came and from. And next up, Noxima. Yep. This does not surprise me that it's on your list. No, um, actually my mom used to use this. This is like the first beauty product that I've ever used in my entire life. And uh, and so I've been a beauty junkie since I was eight years old. Noxema is good for sunburn, uh, for skin irritation. Um, my mom used to use it just to wash her face to take all the makeup off. It takes all your makeup off and um, has a little bit of camphor and menthol in it so that it uh, keeps your skin feeling a little bit, you know, brightened and energized instead of, uh, you know, but getting everything off at the same and time. And it's not going to cause you to have clogged pores? Nope. Absolutely it doesn't matter not. what your skin type is? No. Nope. And actually, they have different formulations now, but I mean, uh, they do have one for sensitive skin and one for... And it's not expensive. No, it's not. It's about, like, I think this five giant bucks? jar is about five bucks. Yeah. Nice. That'll, That'll last you a good long time. time. Yep. yep. <laughs> Thank you so much. No problem. Just a little beauty history lesson yes. for us today. Absolutely. Now, you can find a link to Leanne's website on our website, greatdaystlouis.com. Kent?